Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your April 2018 reading. Generally my readings are love readings, so we will see whatever comes up. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do you have for Leo? Let's try to provide them a positive message for April. Oh, justice just fell out. It's about doing the right thing. Okay, that's what justice says. Do the right thing. That's what it means. Integrity. You have a choice to make. Probably a, a heavy choice. Okay. Something, this is the death of an idea. Okay, there's a choice regarding something that you may be thinking about letting go of or ending. This is also needing to recuperate from something. And you think, I feel like many of you may be going through some sort of midlife crisis. All right. And it's time for a transformation. But I feel as though many of you have this fear of growing old alone. Okay. There is an ending here. Okay. These are both ending cards. So I feel as though there is some decision that you are weighing. You're weighing a decision back and forth as to whether to let something end or not, okay? And so I think you're going through a period of contemplation. And it's, this, this contemplation is happening because you're transforming, okay? Something needs to be released with, you know, that's, that's what death is. Death is a release so that you can begin again, okay? This is an ending. Um, you know, with death brings new life. So I feel as though, you know, you are considering some sort of... Decision. Okay, you have a decision to make. You are in decision-making mode. And this is what's going on here. But I feel that your fears are holding you back. Yes. Okay. So it feel there's no growth where you're at. There's no growth, and there's something that is very um, too much. Something is just too much. It's not. There's a lack of love here. There's a lack of self-love. lack of energy it's like something I don't want to work on something anymore there's something that you don't want to work on okay that I don't want to put energy into there you are and that that is a man or a woman and that like I said this is um, unrealistic there's something that is unrealistic here that you are considering releasing ending Okay, you are. This is the death of an idea, the death of a situation where you need to recuperate from it afterwards. But this is like midlife crisis mode. I don't want to live alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to grow old alone. You know, this is lack of uh, putting work into something. Like, I don't want to work on this anymore. There's something that is smothering here. Lack of self-love, lack of growth. Unrealistic. Again, no energy, no passion, no excitement. Okay, the thing is, is you need to end something before there is a disaster. This is avoiding a disaster here with the Tower card. I feel like you've, you have these fears of suffering, so that's why you're so afraid. This is a fear of suffering. You are afraid... That you, to do the right thing because you're afraid that you might suffer if you do. But this is you need to let go of negativity. You need to let go of negativity. You need to let go of this despair. And this is probably th you're definitely on the edge. Okay, you're on, you're contemplating during this time. You know, with the justice card about letting go of something that is really. You know, that has been causing you sleepless nights. And, you know, I think you're looking for, you're going through some sort of recovery, but you're still thinking about it. This is thinking about it. You have definitely thinking about it, but you're not lack of action with these eights reversed. 
the eights is the time is now. It's a lot of power, but you lack the power. You're still contemplating on what to do next on, and on what you deserve. You know, and you do give what you, you get what you give. So it feels as though, you know, you're dealing with somebody that is probably not communicating very well okay because this reverse is there's lack of communication there's lack of drive there's lack of energy um, very uh, almost like a, a ruthless energy now this could represent you it could represent somebody else that you're dealing with but I think you're and this can also be manipulation so I feel like there's some sort of manipulation here and you are being called to let something end so you can avoid a disaster Okay, so, but there's fear. There's fear of suffering here, but let me get this zoomed in. There's also a lot of power struggles. Okay, there's a lot of power struggles because when I looked at that, it was at 550. 55 is power struggles and instability. And I feel as though, you know, it's time to close. It's time for closure nines they're mirroring each other with this death card something needs to end something needs to end and it's about you making the decision it's about your integrity it's about doing the right thing it's about being honest with yourself it's about seeking balance and bringing balance back to your life because i feel like there's been some kind of selfishness here whether it's you or the other person that has been holding you back from making this decision. So I feel like there's some sort of deserving more. I deserve more than this. And right now you're just in thinking mode, thinking mode, thinking mode. And that's, that's evident. Thinking way, way. Just thinking. Unable to take action. You know, when you know that you need to take action. And that's why this death card is here. It's, this is a time of transformation. It's a time of release. It's a, t it's a new beginning. But you have to face your fears. You have this fear here. But you have to face your fears. And I feel as though once you let something go, once you let something go, you will have wish fulfillment. But you have to let something go. Okay? Um, and I don't know what it is, but we're going to dive right into this. It feels as though... You need to release some burdens. You need to make a conscious change. That's what that means. It's up to you to make this change. And you need to not let your fears of being alone hold you back. Yeah, it's like you need to cut right to the chase. It's time, absolutely time to be honest. There's no doubt about it. It's time to be just. It's time to be honest. I see that you've been very mentally restless about this decision. It's been going. It's been weighing you down. It's been caught. You've been losing sleep. It's been causing you depression. It's it's been stealing your energy. Okay, I know that you need to make a decision and it's a difficult one and you don't want to make it. And I feel as though you know you are. It's very intense. Okay, it's very intense, and I feel as though, you know, there's a lot of conflict here. You have, you're having a lot of conflicting thoughts, but the thing is, is now it's time to, you know, this five of swords, that's conflict, that's tension, that's uh, feeling defeated. It's also power struggles, and wanting to prove yourself, it's also very a big ego. So, I'm just telling you what it means. I feel as though... One of the reasons why a decision can't be made is because of pride, okay? This tells me that you need to focus on the future, all right? This is the Three of Wands. You need to focus on the future. You need to realize what you really want. You have to make a conscious change for your ships to come in, okay? This is, this is also severing ties. So I feel like you guys have to make a intense challenging challenging decision okay that is weighing very heavily on you and it's it's causing you some discontent for sure there's mental conflict here no doubt about it and the thing is is it's time to let it go it's time to release something and i think you're really really thinking about dropping it letting something go dropping something 
And I think, you know, look at the swords. It's unbelievable because this is so mental. There's a lot of mental conflict here about what to do. And I think that you just don't want to do anything too hastily. But, you know, you may all of a sudden come to this conclusion. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. You know, with that, this energy is very restless, quick, fast, um, defensive you know it's like you're feeling like you have to defend yourself constantly you know and it's nobody wants to live like that look at that the lover's card maybe there's an unexpected choice in love i mean this is a decision regarding love that's what it is i mean this is a decision regarding a person a love you probably have to make a decision and it's weighing very heavily on you regarding somebody you know that you may be committed to now or, you know, you may be wanting to be committed to, but you do have to make a decision. There's no doubt about it. Decisions are, are I'm telling you what, you got to make a decision. Yes, you do. And it's regarding a partnership. Okay. Whether you want to build with somebody or not. And I feel like you guys need to maybe it's just mentally restless energy that you need to let go of so that this relationship can blossom so that this relationship can grow maybe you need to let go of these negative thoughts that could certainly be the case because these are all negative thoughts they are negative thoughts negative thoughts negative thoughts negative thoughts negative thoughts and this is letting go of the negative thoughts and maybe this is you being too smothering towards this person and you are being called to let go of these negative thoughts so that your so that your relationship can become stable and secure and grow okay because i feel like you do have the ability to have a relationship with somebody that could be very stable and secure you absolutely have that ability to do that there's there is potential here for a new beginning in love but it could be somebody else because that's what this... Generally, this is a choice between two people. This Generally, this is... And look, at, I think it's just, it is. It's the same people. Anyway, they. The, I think that there's a choice between two people here. Oh, beware of false beginnings. It's time to make the clear choice. I. It is. You have to make a choice. I think there's a choice between two people. There is. And this doesn't have to be two lovers. This could be... You know, anybody. It could be a family member and a lover, whatever. It could be two people that, you know, you have... Because somebody could be coming into your life very quickly. What is this? Yes, you do. I think you have to make a choice and you have to drop one of them. You have to drop one of these people. Because you can't have a commitment for, for both. And, you know, there is a... The feeling of discontent here and there's a no, there's no commitment. So one of them, there's no commitment. And you, it's you, you know, you're trying to balance this out. It feels like there's been some sort of opposition here in regards to a commitment. And this right here is my player card. It's like somebody needs to drop a player. Interesting. Look at the love. There is love here, Leo. There is. And this is generally, this could be a reconciliation or a reunion or new love with the lover's card. I'm I'm wondering if there is somebody new that has presented themselves to you and now you have to choose between two people. That could certainly be the case. Now this won't resonate with everybody because there's so many people that watch it. But there's definitely a new N-E-W love here. Or it could be a reconciliation. Okay, this could be a reconciliation with somebody from your past or from somebody that you're with. There could be a renewed love here. There could be. But this is no commitment. Yeah, there's hidden forces here. There's something going on behind the scenes. What the hell is this? But this is a wake-up call. I think there's somebody new for many of you. Won't resonate with everybody, but I think there is somebody new because there's a lack of commitment here where there's somebody has been faking. This is the fake it till you make it card. Okay, somebody has been faking and there's something hidden. There's some sort of secret here. 
about a commitment. Again, lack of commitment. These are both lack of commitment. What the hell is this? There's a new partnership. There is. I believe there's a new partnership for you. And you have to make a choice between two. There's a decision here. I think you have to make a choice between two people and you have to let one of them go because you can't be committed to both. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to stand your ground. And I feel, you know, you, you. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that lacks compassion and didn't have your best interest at heart. That's what this card means. And then you need to move on. Okay, so I don't know what this is. You need to make a choice between two people. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I feel as though this is a, you know, unable to, there's a lack of direction, there's a lack of discipline, unable to move forward, you know, there's a lack, there's a loss of will here, and I don't know why, because you have these new beginnings here, you have a, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, there's like a new beginning in love here, but I think that you are unable to move forward because of this mental conflict, I think you have to choose between two people. And you need to free yourself from one of them and start a new journey. But I think that you lack faith. You lack faith and you are too afraid of being taken advantage of and you don't want to grow old alone. So you're, you're really taking your time with this decision. It's like you're really losing sleep over this decision because you want to take do the stable. You want to take the stable practical approach, but it feels like you're dealing with somebody who is very uh he's into money and sex and not into love you've got one person that you're dealing with that is not into love they're into uh everything but love everything in life is more important than true love that's what you're dealing with i think you have a choice between a taurus virgo capricorn and a pisces cancer scorpio And you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. It's like you've got this new discovery, but you're like, oh shit, how do I handle this? You know, I feel in one direction there's a lack of passion and you don't know what to do because you are you may have been in a commitment. You may have been in a commitment with one of these people and now you have to get out of the commitment. You know, so I feel like there is some sort of challenge that you are being faced with this month and it involves two people and which way to choose decision there is a decision that needs to be made and it is a challenging one but you are being called to go down a new road because there's a lack of solid commitment here with one person but there is an opportunity for commitment with another that's what i see Right now you're in thinking, thinking, thinking mode. That's what I see. Contemplation. Trying to figure out what is it that I deserve? What do I deserve anyway? And you're trying to avoid disaster right now. That's what's going on. You're trying to avoid disaster. But I feel like there's a new partnership and I really think it's new. I really think it is new. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Just whatever happens, happens. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. I feel like you guys are contemplating letting go of somebody that you were once committed to. This is reversed, and we're going to keep it reversed. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I think that you have to make a choice regarding your a soulmate, okay? And this soulmate is not your usual type. And I think that the one that you're with is not your type. That's what I think this card says. And that you have been presented with somebody who is more your usual type. And now you have to make a choice. Children, 
Your love life is being affected by children. Maybe this person would be better for your children. I don't know. You figure that one out. I This card, you know, everybody has different situations with their children, so I leave that up to them. Children are a factor either, either way you look at it. You figure it out. I feel like this is a month of making a decision on um, between two people. And it's a tough one. It's a tough decision. Somebody is not committed. And somebody is afraid of growing old alone. So they they have this fear of making the wrong decision. But I feel like you are being called to follow your dreams and your wishes and your heart. Okay? And I feel like this is a very difficult... I mean, it's exciting. It is exciting because, you know, it's... Uh, what's the word for it? Oh, God. I can't think of the word. Begins with F. Flattering. You know, but I feel as though, you know, you definitely have to make a choice because and I feel as I feel like you have to let go of somebody. I don't know who it is. Synchronicity. Interesting. I'm going to zoom that in. You've got a choice, I think, think between two people, or your partner does, because this can go both ways. A water sign and an earth sign. Okay? That's what's going on here. I think it's you. I think you have a, a choice between two people. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. Say you run into somebody on the street. That didn't happen. That happened for a reason. Okay? And you ignore them. You didn't ignore them. Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? Are you? Are you pretending that you don't see them? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. <laughs> Unbelievable. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. You cannot ignore the truth forever. And if you hurt people in the process of you ignoring the truth... And don't expect them to come back because they won't. Everything happens for a reason. Choose wisely. Talk to you later.